Okay, so once you've uh, gone to Kinko's and printed out your custom art, as you can see, this is the finished product. You're going to have your guidelines here, circles, and the area here for whether it's of you know the uh, headphones for Xbox 360 or the turbo or the uh, guide buttons for the PS3. You get all the guides on here on your custom art, so you know where to cut out. And uh, you're going to need some tools in order to do that. So the first tool you're going to want to get. It's called a cutting mat. I believe you can get it at pretty much any office store, arts and crafts store. Basically, you can cut on this with a razor, and it does not cut this surface. It's a very unique surface. Um, what you're going to cut with is this right here. It's called an X-Acto knife. As you see, it is basically just a, a knife with many different razor blade attachments that you can use to actually cut out the holes in the template. And what you're going to need, obviously, let me lift this up so you can kind of see it, is a clear plexiglass top. Now these are available in multiple places uh, online. You can get them for the Hori sticks. You can get it for the, uh, the tournament edition stick, which you see right there. There's a tournament edition stick where we have a, a clear top that we're going to install. You can pretty much get it for any stick, and they're usually custom made. I actually got it from this website here. It's called Arts Hobbies, and I'm not sure if you can see that web address. Probably not because uh, the camera is getting blurry, but it's uh, www.tech with T E K dot uh, slash in or not slash dash innovations dot com backslash art hobbies. And uh, he's actually specifically saying here that the site's going to be down on June 3rd because he's going to upgrade the site, but he's going to have all different kinds of templates, tournament edition templates, Hori templates. He's basically he's making everything for your stick so you can do customized artwork. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to get started. We're going to probably cut out all of the holes right off of the artwork and then we're going to show you how to actually install that artwork on the stick. Uh, this is an ideal time if you do want to upgrade your joystick or your buttons on your joystick this is the time to do it because you actually have to manually take out the buttons, disconnect them and do all that but you're going to see what I mean when we get to that. So.